Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a early Lego Monkey Kid review. Today we are looking at set number 80045. This is the Monkey King Ultra Mech. This will be retailing for $159.99 USD or $219.99 Canadian. It will be available beginning on January the 1st. This was sent to me early by Lego Slash Land to do a review for. And the first time we were ever offered Monkey Kid and were ever doing a full wave review. So let me know if you want to see more of these. But we've looked at, I think, only one set in the past. And it was from the first wave. But I've always been a fan of it. We look at most of the sets when they're revealed. And here we are. This is the first set of the wave that we'll be reviewing here on the channel. And this is a fantastic mech with some fantastic minifigures as well i just want to jump straight in and go through this extremely detailed mech all right beginning down here with the feet really love uh, the shaping of it and just the points and even how like this piece here is hugging that it looks so great and the sticker here there's so many stickers like i said throughout this whole thing but i love the little screw there that's a really nice little detail you'll see a few different places the ingot there in teal is really cool looking at it from the side here like just the the shaping there and the, all of the nexonite shields little um, sort of slope pieces they look so so cool and even here on the other side really really great there's not really any articulation in terms of rotating it i don't believe or you can uh it's just not you can't put it flat um there's this piece here inhabiting inhibiting that my apologies underneath there's actually these little grips here to stop it from moving this is a fairly new thing i think i could be wrong in saying that underneath they've got these little orange grip pieces there um to help it from moving here's what the back of the feet look like all right we're moving on up here to the legs and i really liked again just the the detail these gold pieces first of all love this color of gold compared to that really great with the shine you've got these little i don't even know like the the balloon piece there with some orange pieces i think they're meant to be thrusters like in the legs um but up above here like that is a really cool looking sticker it's different here than the one on that side i really love that again the red ingots and everything look great here is what the back looks like there for the legs it's, it's not got much it's i think again some little orange pieces to be thrusters there in the back of the legs while we're here, I guess we'll look at the tail joint. It's uh, very simple in terms of how it's built. There is no detail, no stickers or anything there, but uh, they've got all these little ingot pieces. And then on the end, this little lantern tassel there. Um, so yeah, that is the tail and you can bend it and shape it however you want there. All right, up here in the waist, I love this. The little almost like it's meant to be almost fabric i love that like it's almost like a tunic down here i think it looks so cool these ingots there the nexonite shields and then you've got the little turquoise teal pieces in behind it is so cool this piece it's printed that is incredible you could see here on the side um these where these uh, giant blade pieces are attached um, which is a part of the transformation later you'll see um, you've got some stickers there. The gold trim carries on over here onto the sides of the mech, which is just so cool. Look at that there, how the sticker lines up there into that. You've got some more thrusters there, lifting it up. I love the curve there. It's the same on the other side. Really, really awesome. And here's what it looks like from the back. You get a better look there at the tail joint and everything. And then you have here, I've removed the back jet part here. Uh, you'll see that in a second. But uh, here you could see this is also a part of that jet transformation. You remove these, very easy to do. We'll just stick here on the back. Uh, so I've reattached the jet build part and it's pretty like clunky. You've got a ton of thrusters here that you could sort of angle around again for this thing to fly as if it didn't have enough thrusters already. All you do here is you just gotta pull out the back. It removes very, very easily. I think I hit the camera, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, you attach it to those spots there and uh, you saw how that was removed already, but it's just, uh, it's just a lot. All right, so here's all the parts that you've seen me remove already. So I'm gonna transform it here and show you. So you lift this part up here. You take this and you place it right there, close it on up. And then this here, 
I believe doo -doo -doo -doo, you connect it here and you connect that there and you are good to go. I think you just got to turn these thrusters around there, flip that up and you are good to go. This is the jet build. Honestly, in comparison to like Ninjago jets, it's very unique. I love the giant blade pieces there. Really cool. You've got uh, that sticker there on the front and stickers right here giving you a little bit of a warning because when you open them up, they reveal here two little missiles and they launch just by pushing down, of course. And uh, yeah, the thrusters you've seen before, they've got uh, a lot of articulation there. Really love those blade pieces there for like the wings. And just how that looks from the front. This piece here, the canopy in red looks great. You've got another sticker there. And of course the spot for you to take one of the figures, sit them on inside and close up the canopy and fly on off. The arms are extremely detailed and so articulated. Like it's so cool how you can do so much here. You can even turn it. It is so, so great. You've got stickers there, which is the most I think the stickers used uh, throughout the entire set. You've got this here. The other arm is just reflected, but that's a really cool print with an exclamation mark there. You can move the arms like that. You can even rotate this hand here all the way around. And just spinning it around here, you can see you've got a sticker there on that side. There is also the exclamation mark sticker there. Again, the exact same build just flipped on to the other side. And then same with the other arm. Uh, over here on the hand, I really like the fingers there. I think that's like how, how chunky they are. I think looks really cool. Um, also on the ends there, I love the little, uh, the, screw there like i said before on the feet i think that's a really cool detail the thumb you can angle a lot there by moving it around there and up and down a bit and then this is for the staff but i forgot to show you one of the most detailed bits here and that is this section here this is a little connection joint for you to be able to take the part there from the jet and i stole this from the other arm and you just attach it like that very easy to do very easy to remove as well all right, so now we're gonna focus on the torso and I love this so much. Just the detail here is incredible. This piece, love that. And just how there's no gaps. Like they're, they've got this bit here that's covering up all that. It looks great, all the gold. Love how you could see a bit of the turquoise. Like that's intentional because if you look at the design there on the stickers, it's there. Like there's turquoise in behind the silver. It looks amazing. I really like the cannons here on the top. I think that's really neat how that works. Again, you've seen that from before. The shoulder pads, you could sort of move them a bit and that'll help you with how you're like moving the arms and everything. They move with that, which I think is really cool. How it opens up is just, it's so smooth. It's really great. You can grab it by the head here. It just bends on back and it opens up and it lets you, of course, take one of the figures you put them on inside and just close it on up. I love the heads up display on that little glass cavity there for the chest. I think it looks really, really great. And uh, then here with the actual head, it looks like one of the Lego monkey heads. I think that looks great. You've got a ton of stickers there, even on the nose. That was the most difficult sticker to put on. Those are eyes there and those are printed. And you just push here in the back of the head and it lights up a bit. I'll turn off the lights in a second. And you could see just the detail on these incredible gold uh, foil prints. Like they are so, so great. Really love all the detail, all the writing here as well. Like look at just how detailed that is. With the clouds and just the printing there, how it actually goes up into a cloud piece on both of them. I think looks so, so great. Just how detailed that is if it decides to focus there tap on it and uh yeah look at that so great that is what it looks like it's <laughs> creating a lighthouse effect here it's lighting up the room um but yeah pretty pretty cool looking you can see the eye print here's what the back looks like again it, it looks kind of bare honestly without uh the back part but then it looks too chunky with the other thing so i don't know not really a, a good middle ground but I like how it's attached here. Some of the parts being used and the ingots and all that. These parts here can sort of be angled there on those little ball joints. The back of the head, it's a very interesting design. Again, not sure. It looks very complete from the back. 
but that's how you push there. That's what that looks like to light up the eyes. All right, so here is how you attach the staff. Beautiful build, honestly, one of my favorite parts to build. Um, I love the interpretation of this. Like it's meant to be the exact same staff there. How they have made it giant sized, I think is just incredible. What you do is you take it here and you put it right there in that hand. You sort of have to hold it like this. So I put it the wrong way there. You grab it like so, and you take this hand here and do, 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 do. you are good to go holding it like that. You can also just sort of free hold it and not attach it. So I'm just going to bend that in and you just grab it like this and he can just hold it just like that. All right, I, I think I've got the angle here. I, I have no clue, honestly, what I'm doing at this point, trying to recreate this from the box. I, I'm about to give up here. It, it is not very easy to do. Um, I'm, I'm losing my mind a bit here. It, it just is not, it, it should have a better attachment, I think, for the staff. I, I cannot get this to get the right angle, even though I'm following it exactly as it is on the box. I just, I, I can't anymore. I cannot get it past that angle. One hour later. So I refuse to let this thing beat me, uh, despite me getting really frustrated at it. I stand by. It is not possible to get that angle. It is completely, look at that. That's touching there. That's touching there. And it cannot go up. Like there is no joint there for that to go higher. It is not possible to do what it's saying in the, the box art online. I remove this piece here. It removes a part there that would have it lifted up even higher. Like even now, you could see how it's barely touching there at the top and it's bending. So I really don't think that it's possible to do without removing this piece from right there. All right, so I would like to start here with the Monkey King himself because it is a really cool looking figure, brand new outfit for him, but the staff is honestly one of my favorite things. It is using these brand new parts that appear in this little baggie. So you don't use, except for the blade, which you'll see in a bit, all the other parts there, um, they all come in this little baggie, which is great. But back to the figure here, like I love the staff build. It looks so detailed. Those pieces on the ends look great. Really love that. And the monkey kid hilt there in red is awesome as well. But removing that there, you could see the torso printing looks so cool. They've even printed on the tail to continue this outfit here, which is exclusive to the set. Side leg printing. Oh my goodness, this figure is absolutely insane. Like, look at that there. Should it be dual molded? Absolutely. So you don't see like the white around there, but still side like our leg printing. That That's crazy to me. Something else really great about the tail piece, and I only found out about this in this wave, is it can actually hold a piece. So you can have him holding the staff, which looks really cool. Face there, got a little smirk going on. And then if I were to remove this here, you could see on the back, he's got this crying or scared expression. And you get a pretty good look at the torso there as well on the back. And here is what is called in the set description, the powered up version of Monkey Kid really detailed torso like look at that that's so cool i love all the little clouds there in the the design it looks so great the leg printing and all that so detailed really awesome i love the shoulder parts there as well in this light gray looks great the back torso printing is really really cool as well uh, this headgear here if i were to remove it you get a better look at the face there and on the back he's got this other expression there and here is what the set description calls the original Tang in his monk outfit. This is meant to represent the look more in line with the original Journey to the West character, but isn't technically the same Tang that we know. This is actually according to one of the show's writers. Um, but he looks so cool. I love the hair and the hat combo there. It looks great. That gold is different than even the gold included in the set. If I go ahead and just break off apart just to show you the different shine it's a bit different it's almost uh rose gold i would say 
looks really, really great. And just to show you, it's white. So they've just like painted on top of white. I don't believe it's dual molded, but it still looks phenomenal. Love the outfit here. The side leg printing here as well for him is incredible. What's interesting is he's also got the glasses there. But anyways, uh, looking at the back torso, really great. Love the whole design for this character and this expression too. Awesome. Here is the golden winged eagle. And the wings here are from video. So cool to see that returning. We've got a brand new braid piece there in teal. Looks great. And same with this giant beak. Looks awesome. Leg printing, very detailed. The torso, really, really cool. The spear with a beak on it is really interesting. Um, but just to show you here, the face, really cool. You've got that part even printed on the head, which I think is really interesting. Removing the beak piece, you can see nothing going on in the back of the head. And then you've got uh, the back torso there as well. Very detailed figure. Here's the yellow tusk elephant. I love the weapons here. The pumpkin pieces in dark tan look great. Love the torso printing there. So, so neat. The Praetorian Guard armor there in purple looks incredible love the back there how it's got a bit of the wrap there the hair as well how it goes on into the back the ears and the yellow tusks look great removing all that though you could see what he looks like it's uh interesting you could see like where the tusks are coming out of a bit uh like it's not a mouth like that's where the tusk it's weird ah, ah that's really weird <laughs> And here is the Azure Lion using one of those blade pieces I was talking about before. What I love about the sword build is the candle piece on the bottom in black. So cool to get that in a solid color here. A new one here in black, I think. Love the hair piece, if that's what it is. Maybe it's fur. I guess it's a lion, so it's a mane. Really, really cool. Oh my goodness. There is no way, by the way, this is an exclusive figure right now. There's no way that this figure is remaining exclusive. He's going to come in another set for sure. Just like all of the new printing here it looks great. I love the torso printing. You've got a bit of like the ink there because the ink demons and all that. And uh, the cape piece is so detailed. It's double sided. One side's purple, one side's black. Removing all that though, you get a better look at the torso and just how like the ink is almost taking over there on the side and on the back there as well. That one inked out arm, like that's so cool to me. I love that a lot. And you can see the two face prints. They're a little bit different there. There you have it, everyone. That is my review of the new updated Monkey King Ultra Mech. I think that it's a gorgeous mech. I really do. I love all the gold and the detail, all the stickers throughout this thing. It's incredible. I can't help but compare this to the $550 Hulkbuster set. It was so recent to me. It will probably live on with me for a really long time doing comparisons to this. I compare it. I look at the mobility of this, how much it can move, and just there's like no gaps. They have covered up so much of it here with all these smart parts. Comparing the prices and even how it has one light brick and it still looks so much better it transforms into the jet the jet's not the best thing if i don't have the enthusiasm that should match the detail and quality of this set it's because of that hulkbuster so just blame that uh, the figures in here are absolutely phenomenal too cannot wait to see what the future holds for monkey kid but be sure to subscribe turn